Pape Design Fix Interface Tutorial. This is the interface used to present Mape Design Fix and the first thing to point out is that on the top right, we can set the language of the program. For example, by selecting English, the graphic interface immediately updates to the language selected. There are various options available, starting from the top left. You can open an existing project or directly open the last project saved. Then there is an option to update the program to the most recent version. At the bottom we find the possibility to launch the design program, view the MAPE website and a link to a web page dedicated to chemical anchor products. The central part is undoubtedly the most important. Here we find the module used to design anchors and the module used to design construction joints, that is, post-installed rebar for construction joints. Now let's take a more detailed look at what the program provides for designing post-installed rebar for construction joints between new and existing concrete. Start Rebar Design The first important aspect of the construction joint module is in the section Start Rebar Design. By clicking on the Fix Help button, a window opens where the user will find an accurate description of the contents of the program. In fact, we find information that gives a detailed explanation of the various functions available and a guide that illustrates, again in detail, the calculation criteria used. So, if we go and open the various sections of this guide, the formulas that are used by the program to calculate the anchor length and the relative limitations according to current standards and ETA product certification appear. Now let's take a look at the various options available within the module used to design a construction joint. Initially, in the module Start Rebar Design, we find the reference standard adopted. In this case, it is Eurocode 2 Part 1. It is possible to then select the unit of measure and you can pass from the European metric system to the British Imperial system. You can save the project or modify the data, such as the name of the site, print options and settings, for example. Also, you can obviously launch a new project. Products Calculation Moving on to the section Products Calculation, it is possible to insert information regarding the calculation method, but above all the product. In this section, we also have the possibility to choose between three different products, Mapefix EP100 Epoxy Anchor, Mapefix VE SF Vinyl Ester Based Anchor, and Mapefix UMH Urethane Methacrylate Based Anchor. Then it is possible to define the types of loads, or rather how they need to be inserted correctly. For example, we can insert the stresses of the section, but we can also insert the loads in units of length, so in meters for the concrete element we are taking into consideration. It is also possible to insert a parameter regarding transversal stress, which is a specific parameter for the calculation. We can see that the program, if we pass the cursor over the item Transversal Pressure, provides us with details about this parameter. You can also modify the angle of the concrete strut to verify shear. Here too, the program provides an explanation of what could be the details regarding this parameter. Base Material Moving on to the Base Material section. First and foremost, it is possible to specify the type of construction joint we are going to consider. For example, in this case, we selected the connection slab beam and beam beam. And in this case too, we see that the program provides a brief description of the type of connection selected. There is obviously the possibility to change the type of anchor, passing for example to the wall to foundation condition, column to foundation condition or overlap condition. That is, in the case where there is an overlap between post-installed rebar and existing rebar in the concrete substrate. The wall-on foundation type of anchor, which could seem similar to the previous case, in reality allows us to dimension the anchor even if there is no overlap between the new rebar and the existing rebar. In this condition, it is possible to go and apply a compressive force only. Similarly, the user can select other different methods which are those contemplated by the ETA certification for the product. Another important characteristic to define in this section regards the strength class of the concrete. Using this drop-down menu, 
it is possible to single out the class of concrete being considered for the anchor. The classes shown here are those contemplated by ETA certification for the product. Lastly, in this option it is possible to identify or select the drilling method used. This obviously has an effect on the bond strength value of the product and therefore on the result of the calculation. The user can also specify the type of drilling adopted if a simple drill is used or a drill with a guide so that the hole is at a perfect right angle with respect to the work surface. View section. The final section is the view section which allows the user to modify how the 3D image looks.